Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today we're going to talk about Firefox Headless with Catalan Studio 5.3 which released just three days before I'm recording this video. So this is an all new version of Catalan Studio and there are many new features introduced. I guess there are four to five new features introduced and one of the interesting feature is the introduction of running Catalan Studio with the Firefox Headless mode which is really really cool because we already have the option of running Chrome in headless mode but not the Firefox. Again Firefox is very very handy when you want to test that particular application and it is also one of the most widely used browser. So it is very important that if we run the application on Firefox at least in headless mode while working with Dockers or maybe if you're going to work with the upcoming Catalan Studios Docker version it is really very handy. So Catalan Studio team is currently working I guess with the Dockers and they are going to support different kinds of browser versions and browsers like Chrome and Firefox in headless mode. This is going to be really really cool. So this is going to be a payment for running the Catalan Studio on Docker as well as making people to use the headless browsers in much easier fashion. So let's get started. So if you don't know what is this headless mode of Firefox, it is just introduced from Firefox 56.0 and above. So if you come all the way down here, you can see that from 56 plus you can use the Firefox headless mode. And the current version of Firefox that I'm using is 58 I guess. And this is really, really cool because you can use it for automation testing purposes, which is really good. And they are supporting it. So if you want to try out yourself, all you can do is just head over to uh, the uh, Firefox installation location, which is available in the C colon. And you can go to the Mozilla Firefox and run the PowerShell in an administrator mode. And if you want to take a screenshot, you can just do this screenshot of HTTP colon double slash www dot maybe google dot com if you take this uh, you can see there will be a screenshot available you can see that there is a screenshot dot png file so this is the one as you can see here so it takes a screenshot for you and the same api is now supporting one more option in headless mode as well so you can just do this hyphen headless and again you can take a screenshot if you want and that's going to be this one. So you can see that even in the headless mode, the screenshot can be captured. So now with the Catalan Studio, you can see that they also support the headless mode here, as you can see here. So this is the default option right now, which is being selected instead of the Firefox, which was default earlier in the previous versions. So they are supporting the Firefox headless. So this is the same code which we have already discussed in our previous videos of this course and you know that uh, this particular code is available in GitHub. So you can just go to the GitHub of executeautomation.com. You can go to the repositories and you can see there is a Catalan Studio Web UI. So you can download this one for uh, running this particular code that we are discussing it right now. So you can see that this time I'm going to run in the Firefox headless mode instead of Firefox browser itself. So I'm going to just go ahead and run this and you can see that the test is going to start and is currently running and you can see that this is saying that it is starting the firefox headless driver instead of the firefox itself so you can see that the test is currently running which is really cool and you can see that all the test is getting passed without just uh, failing so which means that something is really happening so it is finding the element performing the operation on the ui element and everything is working fine without even a single window being open for me which is really really cool so this proves the point that the latest version of catalan studio supports the firefox headless mode and is working fine without any problem which is really great so we are going to discuss about running catalan studio on a docker and that's going to be on the mac operating system and this is really cool because catalan also support running on a docker based images and you can run that and see how the test is going to happen there and that's going to be i guess the next video from catalan studio from exit automation once again thanks for watching this video and have a great day